Yo, yo, you too. What's good with you, man? I know it's been a minute. I've been traveling. You know how it is when I travel for work and then, you know, I always have fun when I travel as well. I just don't be having a lot of time to be shooting videos or whatnot, but here I am with another one. Let's go on here. You know what I'm saying? Jump into this video, man, and listen to this, this God awful chick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to call her name, man. She's so ratchet, man. Check this out. seen it right diamond the body taking advertising to a whole new level with this outfit first of all the outfit is trash it's trash excuse me i'm trying to position this um so she's for sale she's selling the pussy um <laughs> like bro when, when, when are these chicks just gonna admit it man like you just a prostitute man let's just let's just call it what it is prostitutes like you know what i mean let's just stop you know saying these code words like 304s 304s dots sex workers only fans you know what i'm saying you know these chicks are whores they're prostitutes prostitutes have basically you know they left the streets and now it's on it's on social media it's online prostitution is online this is what this chick is. Now, this is the same chick a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago. Talking about firefighters, police officers, city workers. You know what I mean? They're not high value. Retail managers, restaurant managers, not high value, right? Like, they're they, they taking jobs of her, um, her nieces and nephews and this and that. Get a grown man job. But if you look at this chick right here. Diamond the body. What body? It's bought. It ain't real. Look at her hip ratio to thigh. That shit ain't real. You know that's a BBL. Probably a couple of them. Titties bought too. She had them augment augmented. She she caked up with the makeup. It's witchcraft, bro. Blue hair. I mean, come on, man. Nothing about this chick is real. She's all fake. She's phony. She thinks she's bad. You know, she thinks she's bad. She thinks she's top notch, right? I mean, listen to this song, bro. It's like, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't think it could get any worse than Sexy Red, but obviously everybody's trying to be the next Sexy Red. Like the more ratchet, you know, foolishness they talk about, the more ratchet shit they say, uh, they think they're going to go viral. But all she's talking about is selling coochie, bro. She's a prostitute. She's a whore. That's just what it is. One of just, one of the, they, they need to just openly admit I'm a prostitute. I am a whore. That would make life a lot easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But why do they even exist? Let's, let's flip it back, though. Why do they exist? Because of you tricks out there. I'm telling you, man, you got to stop tricking. If you want to turn this around, if you want to get rid of chicks like this, stop tricking. Now, I know you're not going to stop tricking because tricking has been around since Coochie's been around, right? But tricking is pervasive now. It's mainstream now. It's 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 more prevalent. You see what I'm saying? Like back in the eighties and seventies and nineties even maybe. You know what I mean? Like 
pre-social media, bro, men had more of a a pimp mindset. Not saying that guys were out here pimping women, but they had a pimp mindset. They weren't simps. You know what I'm saying? They definitely wasn't tricking like that by far. You know what I mean? Like women didn't come out, women didn't come to you straight out the gate asking for money, telling you to pay for it and, and pay all my bills and all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's because of you dudes, man. You dudes out here has really messed up the game. It's so messed up, man, that, you know, a real, you know, a, a dude like myself that's got like an old school mindset, like a, a pimp mindset, and I'm not a pimp. By by no means, I'm not a pimp. I'm not out here selling women, you know what I'm saying, to these tricks out here for cash. I'm not doing that. But, you know, I classify a woman as an asset or liability. If she coming out of pocket, out the gate, asking for money, she a liability. You know what I'm saying? If she trying to sell sex or the thought of sex or the promise of sex or the guise of sex for money, that's prostitution. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's wrong with you niggas, man. Like, see, I do know what's wrong. You guys don't work on yourself. I keep saying this, man. If you work on yourself, you go to the gym, you work out, you work on your mind, you work on your soul. You feed your mind knowledge. You get smarter, you get wiser. You know what I'm saying? You work on your soul. You, you get closer to God. You get close to the most high. You get close to the universe. You get close to God, bro. You become godly and righteous, man. You won't even entertain this type of foolishness, bro. Like, these women won't even appeal to you. Like, this is a low-quality woman, man. She's a bird. She's trash, bro. She's a whore. She's for the streets, bro. She for everybody, man. That's community coochie right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you was a godly person, if you worked on your soul... You wouldn't be attracted to this a woman like this, a, tr a trick ass thought like this. You just you just would not do that. And you if you work on your body, you wouldn't entertain that. You wouldn't even respect that because there's nothing to respect. All that all that all that what you see right there is surgery, and it don't even look good because it's not real. So, anyway, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play another video, man. I don't even talk about this trash no more. All right, so here we go with another, man. Y'all check this out. I think I'm like Kendra! What's your name, baby? Um, so my outside name, my street name is Holiday, but my real name is Kayla. Say it again. Your name is Kayla? Yes. Kayla, how old are you? So out the gate, she for the streets. You can tell. Out the gate, she for the streets, right? She, hold on, let me see what it says. She is a luxury companion for men, willing to change her profession for a good man. <laughs> Look how contradicted that is. A luxury companion. You see what I'm saying? She for the street straight out the gate. Holiday. Holiday. You know what I'm saying? That's her name, right? Her street name. So she's telling you she for the streets. Bro, all you got to do is listen to these women, just let them talk, and they will always tell you who they are. You know what I'm saying? Holiday. She's for the streets. My street name. Wow. But she wants a good man, though. She wants a sucker. When you hear a woman like that say she wants a good man, that means she wants a sucker. She wants a sponsor. She wants a wallet. She wants a man that leaves with his pockets. She wants a simp. She wants a trick. She wants a lick. She wants a trick-ass, simp-ass, lollipop-ass, head-ass nigga like you. <laughs> Lollipop ass, just lick. Just tastes good. Cause you know, you you leave with your pockets. You got no self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? You got no self-esteem, no self-respect. You put her on this pedestal. You want the coochie so bad because you don't have access to it. You think she's so bad that she's worth all this money up front just because she's got a coochie. She wants you. <laughs> I'm 25. 25? Really? 25. Okay, where you calling me from? Callie. Do you have any kids? No, I have two cats. Okay. <laughs> what do you do for a living? 25, no kids, no men, but two cats. You see what I'm saying? Now, why do you think a good man really don't want to wife her up? Why do you think she hasn't been wiped up yet by a high value guy? This is see when she said a good man, she wants a, really ideally she wants a high value man, but she deals with so called good men every day, like the trick simps, lames, cucks, and all that, right? 
the suckers, the lollipops and all that type shit, right? But when she says she want a good man, she really want a high value man, you know, like myself <laughs> and others out there. And like you guys that really apply my information that makes you high value men. She wants guys like us, but we don't see her as, as desirable because she's not. She for the streets. She, she's for everybody. She's community coochie. She's using her best years to be a whore. That's what they need to just call it, bro. A whore. She's saying that she's a luxury companion. No, you just a whore, a prostitute, a call girl, a girl of the night. You know what I'm saying? She for everybody. Anybody with some bread can hit that, can tap that, can crack that, can smash that, can beat that, can skeet that. Must much should I go on? Like, bro, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to give it to you guys in such a way that it impacts you. I want to shock you with this information, bro. I, I want you guys to see just how low value of a woman this this you know these type of chicks are, bro. These promiscuous, you know what I'm saying, low class, low hanging fruit, low value ass women. All right, man, stay away from these women, man, because all they're gonna do is drain your wallet, and they're gonna be a financial liability to you, a spiritual liability to you, and everything else. You know what I'm saying? See, there's, there's an ancient proverb that goes, the lowest calling of a woman is to seduce a man, separating him from his soul, and to leave him aimlessly wondering. That's what the lowest calling of a woman is. You see what I'm saying? But conversely, the highest quality of a woman is to lead a man to his soul, as to the source, the most high, the creator, God, the universe, that's what the highest calling of a woman is, is to recognize his high value, his kingship, his godship, his leadership, his protection, his provision. You know what I'm saying? But a woman like that going to leave you astray, man. She's going to leave you aimlessly wondering. She's going to rape you of all your, uh, of your resources, power up and move on to the next, man. Let's, let's keep it pushing. I am a luxury companion. A what, honey? A luxury companion. A luxury companion. What's a luxury companion? Yeah, what is that? Basically, it's kind of like a sugar baby. Sugar baby. So, men pay you to spend time with them? Yes. I get paid to go on vacations, go to work events, go to dinner, um, hang out and stuff. Lame dudes, sucker dudes, sponsors, licks, lollipops. All you lollipop ass, sucker ass niggas out here, man. That's who she preys upon. Listen, man, I'm Gen X, right? But I look like like a, a, a younger Gen Y and maybe an older Gen Z. Well, I ain't gonna say that, but definitely a younger Gen Y. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, I'm Gen X, but I still I still date Zs, bro. Like an older Z, younger Ys. That's, that's my sweet spot. You know why? Because I do the work. I work on myself. Mind, body, soul. I'm in the gym. I eat right. I read. I study. I work on my mind, my intellect, all that stuff that I talk about. You know, the stuff that I talk about, I don't just talk about it because I live about it. I, I do this. And I only date high quality women, man. See, y'all got to stop dating these broke women, man. These women be these pretty broke women. You know what I'm saying? Because only a woman who's broke is going to ask you for cash. Only a woman who's broke is going to ask you for money out the gate. When you, when you mess with women that's got, you know, careers and, you know, businesses and, you know, they're making their own bag and stuff like that. Women who are self-sufficient, women who can bring something to the table and like you guys can build. You understand me? Like, those are the type of women that you want to deal with, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't ask for money. All they want is your time. All they want is your, your presence. All they want is, you know what I'm saying, your leadership. They want to experience your masculinity. They want to experience your, your, your intimacy. That's all they want from you. They want companionship. They don't want, uh, 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 they don't want you to subsidize their lifestyle. Anyway, man, you know, you you can take a pick. You can be <laughs> listen with a woman. I've said this before many times. With a woman, either you're gonna be simping or pimping, and I don't mean like you're gonna pimp on the streets, but at least have a pimping mindset. And a pimp is basically a businessman. A pimp is basically a man that's after his his bag, you know what I'm saying? A man is, um, you know, really trying to achieve, you know, excellence or whatnot, but at the expense of these women. And I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't saying to do that, but just have that, 
aggrandizing type attitude, man. Let's keep it pushing. And what type of men pay you to do these things? Weak ass. All types, all types Lobby of races, ass, all types of ages. Um, yeah. <sighs> Lames, simps. Do you have sex with them? Huh? Yeah. Do you have sex with them too? Yeah. Some of them. She's a whore. Now you mentioned men have mommy issues. Some people think you have daddy issues. That's not true. I actually was mostly raped by my father. And he's my best what friend. Your, what does your dad think about your career choice? He doesn't know. I'm sure he has an idea. He, he, what the, your daddy doesn't know that you a sugar baby? He just well, why knows. Why the hell you come to the world before your, your daddy about to know his co-worker going to show him this video? I doubt it. Girl. He knows do you not understand the magnitude of my show? Your daddy will find out after you. He's going to find out now. So you told the whole world that you were sugar baby and your daddy didn't have no idea? Listen, man, even when her dad do find out, she won't give a damn because these women... Listen, man, chicks like her, they don't, they don't have no shame, bro. They got no shame, man. We need to bring shame back to these females, bro. Like, we bring shame back and shame these women... Not only stop tricking with these women, but bring shame back to these women, they'll fall back into place. Like, they're only, you know what I'm saying, out here, you know, doing what they're doing. They wilding out because there's no consequence. Society approves of it. You know what I mean? Like, we got to bring shame back. That's just what it is. But she, she, won't, give a, she won't give a damn if her father finds out. She has some sort of idea that I was doing something. You know, I don't work no regular job. Okay, so just curious, what are you looking for tonight on my show? Well, like, I would like to find my perfect match. Like, um, I haven't dated since I've been this type of work. I've been doing this type of work for about, like, mm, a year. And I haven't dated since because I feel like if it's a good guy, that's not fair to him. But, like, usually out here in Cali, like, I only encounter, like, Am I allowed to say cuss words? Yeah, sure. I mostly like the encountering hood niggas, so I feel like it's not really worth me to not do the type of work I and I don't tell them what I do. Uh, but so it's like she only encounter hood niggas. That means she's low hanging fruit, man. She she she's low frequency. You know what I'm saying? You attract what you are. She a low quality woman, bro. She had the lowest calling of herself. She just deal with guys. And leave them aimlessly wondering. You know what I mean? She'll seduce them, take their resources, power up, and move on. She she's a leech. She's a parasite. This is not a good woman. Like you, you would have to be insane to wipe this woman up. You would have to be like a weak dude to wipe this woman up. You would have to be an idiot to wipe wipe this woman up. She will. <laughs> this woman will give you nothing but trouble. She'll keep you in debt. She'll cheat on you left and right. She won't respect you because she knows she don't deserve a good guy. She knows she don't deserve a high value man. And you know, she just be dead weight to you, man. Like you, you guys gotta snap out of this shit, bro. Y'all, y'all gotta, you know, get turned on to uh, female nation and understand how 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 they work, bro. This is a predatory woman, man. She's she will benefit you in no way whatsoever. And there's no changing her. This is her lifestyle. This is it. She's going to be like this for the rest of her life. You know, unless she has some type of spiritual awakening, epiphany or whatever. I don't know. But even then, man, it's, it's still slim to none, bro. Once a woman, you know, takes this path of a lifestyle, it's very, very rare that they, that they switch up. And by then, they're still not valuable anyway. Because now they <laughs> I can go on, man. Let's just, let's just listen. Go. Why by getting a job if I'm just going to encounter guys that aren't worth me getting a real job. So in this process, are you still going to be a sugar baby to other men? Absolutely not. What kind of man are you looking for? <laughs> so number one, I want him to be God-fearing. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes, I'm sinning. The only sin... <laughs> God-fearing, but she's a whore. <laughs> she wants a God-fearing man, but she wants, a, she, but she's a whore. See, when they say they want a God-fearing man, that's code for I want a man who's gonna forgive me for my whole past. I want a man who's not gonna take in account 
of my whole past and hold me accountable to it. I want a guy that's naive. I want a nice guy that I can walk all over. I want a nice guy that's not going to rock the boat. I want a nice guy that's not going to put any parameters on me. I want a nice, holy, wholesome, simp of a man. I want a man who's 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 submissive to me. I want a man that's 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 that looks like a man, but but has a quality of a woman. This is this is what she actually means. She wants a simp. She wants a lame, a sucker, a sponsor under the auspices or the guise of religion. You know what I mean? And all these chicks, they look the same, man. Fake hair, fake makeup, fake lashes, hoop earrings. Look at her. She hooped up with it. These crazy ass fingernails, body augmentations, probably got tattoos all over the place, bro. They all look sound the same, man. They birds, bro. Low quality ass women, bro. Let a bird be a bird. Let him fly away, man. <laughs> Just let him fly away, bro. I'm telling you. I commit is drinking alcohol and having premarital sex, but I'm all about God. So please also be about God. Um, she all about God, but she living his life. Come on now. You, now, if you all about God, you respect God, you love God, you want a man of God, but you disrespect the God. If you disrespect God, that don't mean you love God. So you're a walking contradiction. You see what I'm saying? You're a walking contradiction. These women are delusional, bro. Stay away from these freaking women like this, bro. Get you a high quality woman, which is very rare. <laughs> They're very fleeting. You got to do your research. You got you to sit back and observe. They're, 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 they're not they're not like prevalent. They're far few in between. I'm holding out. I do want to get married again, but I'm not going to get married to no low quality woman. I'm going to get me a high quality woman. Watch what I tell you. I'm going to do it again. But listen, man, right now, <laughs> the times we're living in, 2024, uh, these crazy times we're living in, it's wild. And it's not just Gen Z. It's Gen Z. It's Gen Y. It's Gen X. And even some boomers. Just look at how it's our show. All them characters. All these women of all these ages, man, be outlandish. It's crazy out here, bro. I'm telling you. You know, just try. Just try. You don't got to be rich, but you got to have your own everything because I have my own everything. And I would prefer if he didn't have children. But if he's older, then I understand that like, you have children. But, like, I prefer if he didn't. Yeah. I'm not that picky. I, my favorite type of men are Spanish speakers, but I don't know if there's any Spanish speakers that watch your show because I ain't never seen them on here before. Hmm. Bird. Bird. Now, Kayla. What? Bird. You know, sat your ass up here <laughs> and told us you were a luxury companion. Men pay you to be a woman, and at times, you give them intimacy. Now, we ain't trying to sit here and not be judgmental and listen, but the first quality you want in your guy is God-fearing. What's the difference if I, because we do the same things that people do when they date for free, like we go out, we go on vacations, and then sometimes we'll sleep together, but I just get aid so what's the difference the difference is when you court a woman you know what i'm saying when you date a woman you take her out it's an investment you're investing in her like you know what i mean so while, while you're on that date or the first couple of dates you're getting to know her you're observing her and you're making your 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 judgment you're making your decisions about whether i should move forward with her or not you know, and, and if we just determine that she's high quality and she's a good woman, she brings a lot to the table, like peace, you know, um, passion and, and, and food and good sex and submission and cooperation. She's fun to be around. She's nurturing. She's supportive. Uh, she's protective in terms of, uh, you know, my outlook in life. She wants the best for me. She's a family woman. She's a homemaker. She's quiet. She's chaste. She's not in the streets. She's not outside. You know what I'm saying? She's good to you. She's good to your family. She's good to, you know, uh, like she just in every area of your life, man, she's just a, a, an asset. See, now that's the woman you want to invest in. And so when you date women like that, you don't mind spending money on them 
because they're 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 giving you a return on your investment, and they invest in you by cooking and cleaning and doing things for you, or, you know, serving you and um, pleasing you, and you know, um, and even you know investing in you, taking you out here and there, you know what I mean, or at least offering to. They're investing, they're investing their time, energy, and money back into you. I talk about meat all the time. I came up with the whole acronym meat. They meet you with their money, their effort, right? Their emotions and time. That's reciprocation. That's reciprocity. And that's what's wrong with you niggas. You don't look for reciprocity. You're in these unilateral, one-sided relationships where you just do everything and they do nothing. You know what I mean? That's what makes you a sucker. That's what makes you a simp. That's what makes you, you know what I'm saying, a lame dude. You know what I'm saying? And she's asking what the difference is. That's what the difference is. Those women that get wiped up, they invest back. They reciprocate. Even though men still spend money on them. You dumb broad. <laughs> you dumb broad. You bird you. You bird brain you. <laughs> Except for the well, fact that I'm getting my bills paid. What's the difference for a girl that dates men regularly and for free? Really? Okay, well, let's let's get into the... Okay, let's... Let me answer that for you. Let me answer that for you. What yeah. you would have to realize, and I think all women have to realize, let's say you are trying to be bought by a man, right? Your goal is here to get a guy. So you want a good guy, as you said, a God-fearing man at that. And I'm going to put this in an example of a product so women can understand, right? So it's not about... Some women might agree with you. Some of them might say, well, she's doing the right thing. At least she's getting money. You know, while she has sex, like, there might be women that might agree with you. But guess what? You're not here for other women. You're here for a man. And what you're telling us is you want a man to buy you. You want a man to take you off the shelf from all other men. Well, men who usually buy women, a.e. marry them, they like exclusivity. They're looking for something that they can say is their own. Nobody else is. Anything that's high value is scarce. Scarcity brings value. If you for the streets and you got community pussy and anyone has access to you, you lower your value, women. The more promiscuous a woman is, the less value she has. You see what I'm saying? Listen, man, God gave you guys you women, your value out the gate. You're most valuable in your youth, fertility, and beauty. And that's literally from like 18 to 27, 26, 27. At 30, you start to have this biological shift. You know that, hey, you know, now your fertility is starting to wane. In a couple more years, now your beauty is going to start to wane. Like you got a good 10 years, a whole decade in your 20s to get your husband. And maybe... You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you can't find a husband in your 30s and maybe 40s and so on, but you, you, you're prime real estate. You're in your prime in your 20s. That's just what it is. She's been in her 20s being a whore. And so for every guy that you sleep with, it's, it's, it's literally comparative, comparable to a car. You buy a new car, the more miles you put on it, the more it depreciates. You buy a brand new car and you drive it around a block, it's depreciated in value because... It's got miles on it. It's been used. So the more guys you let crack and smash and dash and pump and dump, and the more body counts you get, the less value you have. You become in. You become a like a junk car. Like you, you, you just not valuable. You lose value. I can't even put value and promiscuity in the same sentence. That's how invaluable. No, I'm sorry. That's how much value you use. That's how much value you lose, women. Like, all a man wants is a chaste woman, a modest woman, a woman who's not in the streets. I already you talked about it already, but y'all just don't get it, man. Like, you're not designed to be promiscuous. That's just what it is. Men are designed to be promiscuous. We're designed to spread seeds. That's why, you know, one man can impregnate 100 women at the same time. <laughs> but a woman can't have 100 babies at the same time. I mean, come on, like we're biologically designed to to mate with a lot of women and so forth or whatnot. But, you know, that's a whole different conversation. My whole point is that biology of a woman is designed for monogamy with one man. 
Not out here in these streets, man. And when a woman becomes promiscuous and she's get that she got that Jezebel spirit, that whole spirit, that whore, that prostitution ass spirit, that succubus spirit, it's a wrap. She's demonized for the rest of her life. I mean, that's just what it is, man. You can't you cannot turn a whore into a housewife, fellas. You just can't. Period. Had this before. And now there are some men who are not interested in buying women. Those are the men that's probably gonna hit you up. Cause they like she my type of speed. She cute, she just wants some money. Fun times. I don't gotta. I don't gotta keep up with her. You might be perfect for a married man, to be quite honest. A married man who's probably not satisfied in his marriage. Once a weekend, girl knows he can give you some money and not have to worry about no backlash of you getting back to his wife. Now, the man that might be looking for a wife, you may be a turn off to him because this man knows you're not exclusive. I guess I've been living illusion a bit. Because once you yeah. explained everything, it actually totally makes sense. Well, hopefully it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Maybe it's the economy. Maybe it's inflation. <laughs> Maybe it's pop culture, like we always talk about. Maybe it's simps, tricks, and lanes. But I don't know. The times we're living in is wild. Fellas, hold off. Have your fun. Be careful out here. Wrap up, strap up. If you if you deal with these low quality women, man. But I, I, I would say just just hang back, man, and, and abstain until you get you a high quality woman, wife her up, and marry her, bro. That's that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm out, man. I'm already at 25 minutes, man. Hey, uh, I, my book is still out there. You know, how how to be a high value man: the blueprints of successful women. It's available on ebook and paperback. But other than that, man, y'all like my shit, share my shit, subscribe to my shit, and comment on my shit. I'll see you in the guys' next video. Peace. Yup.